Good morning, world. So I've been up for a little while. I am on day five of no opiates. I'm not going to lie. I freaked the fuck out last night. Um, it was about nine o'clock and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I freaked out and fucking lesson learned. Um, I decided to take $5 and go buy a half pint of vodka. I thought that that would be better than getting NyQuil. Less expensive, you know, no hallucinations from taking too much. Um, the alcohol was fine. It didn't make me sick. I've been taking the red vein kratom. Now I just took my third glass, half water. This time I did two teaspoons. I should be um, feeling a little better, I'd say around five, 10 minutes from now. So I decided I'm gonna start taking my smoke breaks outside. And when I do that, that's when I'll video, unless it's a unexpected rant. I'm not a doctor, I don't claim to be, I don't wanna be. But this Kratom stuff is working. But I did melt down last night. I did have a meltdown and um, like really thought that if somebody offered me opiates or methadone at that time, I would have taken it in a heartbeat. So it just goes to show me that this is a spiritual process as well as physical and mental I know from being in the rooms and going to my church, this is a spiritual life that I have to live now. And I'm not saying that I'm against religion. Um, I don't care what anybody does as long as it doesn't affect me. <laughs> but I will say that, um, yeah, you need to have the spirituality. You have to. You have to be spiritual. You need to get on. I've been watching um, stuff this morning. I did some Kratom watching, um, basically, so that I could know more. So I don't sound like an idiot when I'm on a video. But, um, again, day five, I just jumped off of uh, methadone from the 60, uh, 60 milligrams um, to nothing. So my last dose was Tuesday the 13th and today is Sunday the 18th. So anyway, um, it's, it's amazing that I'm on day five of coming off of methadone and I felt like putting on lipstick and earrings and of course my beautiful jewelry. <laughs> I'm doing birds today. I've got my birds. This is uh this is an old plunder piece that I found from someone online and uh another stylist and it says if it doesn't challenge you it won't change you. So, I'm like this is kind of a weird experience for me this morning because I'm feeling better. Um I'm not going to drink anymore. I got very emotional with the drinking, so I'm not going to drink anymore, but I am going to get more spiritual. And now I have Wi-Fi back, and I'm going to get my ass on there and find some Upwork jobs to supplement what me and Jenny, my friend, are going to be doing, which we both kind of already do. I do a lot of selling online. She has a direct sales company with um, Young Living Essential Oils. And it's amazing because I've been using them and their remedies. Um, she has, a little, she has a, the, the Bible of essential oil. And uh, she just tells me what kind of oil I need and gives it to me and in a little sample and I'm good and it's been helping. I have a sleep one um, and it's really amazing. So I've been doing that. I'm going to smudge my room today and Palo Alto it tomorrow. I'm going to give it 24 hours to kind of flow. For, the, for those of you that don't know anything about any of this, Sage is just 
they say, taking negative vibes and energies and a lot of other stuff, but to keep it simple. Um, take the smudge, light it around the room, windows open, doors open, let all of the crap out. So I'm going to sage and then give it 24 hours to leave. And then I'm going to Palo Alto, which is just bark, basically. I have some in my room. I'll show you next time I'm in there. And um, it's just bark. And you it's not bark. It's, it's wood, but it looks like a tiny little piece of shred of wood, like kindling. And you light it, and it, you know, cleanses new energy. Um, I've got my crystals charging, um, but they're always charging. They're right next to. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to be a weirdo, but this, they're right next to <laughs> one of my crystals that stays charged all the time and also amplifies charging my other crystals. So that all works out. That's in my little altar that everybody's seen. That's where I meditate. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I could qualify as practicing Buddhism. But I guess I do, because I do a lot of yoga. That's another thing I'd like to try today. We'll see how it goes. I feel good now, because I just woke up. Come nighttime, things change. I'm not drinking vodka again. I will tell you that. Um, that was not a good idea. And um, because it just, it like amplified my already crazy emotions by like 650,000. So I was like, no, not doing, <laughs> doing that again. So, um, I got up, I felt good. I said, let me shower. Um, I threw my hair back up. I, I cannot wash my hair as much as most people. And I know it looks greasy, but I've got scalp issues and I'm working on it with natural remedies right now. If you have any suggestions, um, I do have, um, gluten intolerance and one of my major things when I cheat, which I do, which, you know, is going to stop. I'm, I have many vices, people, many vices. So anyway, um, I get really, really bad itchy head and dandruff. So I can't wash my hair every day, but it's greasy. If I wash it every day, then I have to use a really powerful, I mean, this stuff is meant to get rid of fungus and that's not really what dry skin in your hair from celiac is, uh, you know, from eating gluten. I don't know. So anyway, I'm blabbing this morning. Just wanted to let you know, this is what I'm going to be doing this morning. I'm going to read the rest of one word again. My one word is happy. If you haven't read this book, it's one word that will change your life. Expanded version from John Gordon, Dan Britton, and Jimmy Page. And I probably will not put it below because I'm being very, very lazy, very lazy. I might later go back and put it, but, um, also my journal. I have so many journals. This was supposed to be work related only. Now it's a mix and I'm keeping track because it does have two strings. This was actually a gift to my ex-boyfriend from Sherman Williams, <laughs> but it, these are awesome journals. I have like two of them. He had a bunch. So, um, anyway, it says on it, what is worth doing is worth doing well. And that is Mr. Sherwin himself. So, okay, I'm going to wrap this up so I can do, um, actually, I can do longer videos. I don't know if anybody would want a longer video. Um, feeling good on Kratom, day five. Go back and watch previous videos if you are wondering. I don't, I am only saying that because I don't want to be repetitive for the people that are keeping up with me daily. Um, so the pe person that watched me on day one, they don't want to hear all that shit again. So go back and watch it if you want. Um, I've had a good experience with Kratom coming off of methadone, which is an um, opioid, whatever. It's an opiate. Um, and <laughs> I'm using Kratom to help detox and I'm still feeling effects, but not bad mostly emotional. So, um, I got to get spiritual. I got to get up and Adam and dressed and showered and ready to walk out the door if I want to and not look a fool. And then also reading and writing and, um, jobs searching. So, um, 
I've got a lot in my mind, so I'm going to start writing, and I'm going to finish this cigarette. And then, sorry, it was going out. So, and then um, I will catch back with everyone later. Thanks, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you want notifications, hit the little dingy bell. Like, dislike, comment. I did get angry at someone, but he apologized. Thank you. And um, I was also acting like a dick, so whatever. Um, <laughs> and it was silly. Emotions. So um, the great thing about Kratom is that it is helping. It's really helping because... When you're going through real, real, like actual withdrawals, never the emotions are fifteen thousand times worse. So all you do is constantly think about how can I feel better? How can I feel better? How can I feel better? You don't with this. So there is an ease of anxiety. There's an ease of, um, I don't know, pain. Really, there is. Um, I really only had a slightly drowsy effect the first time I took it, and that was white vein mangda, and I took one and a half teaspoons, um, and that is supposed to be more stimulating, um, and that could have been it because I don't take well to stimulants. I'm not a heavy coffee drinker. I love coffee, but I don't drink it every day. Um, so anyway, that's kind of uh, where I'm at today, and. You know, I've been, um, re my, my boyfriend has been fucking phenomenal, especially considering, you know, his brother just passed away Monday. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll be posting some stuff about that on my social media pages, um, here in the next day or two, um, just to kind of raise awareness, if you know what I mean. So, um... If this is a, it is not even an epidemic. I don't even think Donald Trump can say that it's an epidemic because he has no, maybe he does. I don't know. I really don't know, but I don't think he has an idea. He hasn't disclosed it or been honest about it that um, he knows what it feels like to come off of pain medication. Um, that doctors have prescribed for you or, you know, um, government funded methadone clinics um, that you pay $13 a day to go get numb. Um, I like that I'm feeling emotions. I, I Maybe it seems like I'm complaining about it. I, I'm not. I'm just expressing that that's the, the most thing that, that's affecting me which is so minor because it's only good emotion. I'm crying happy tears for certain things. It's really not bad. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna run this out now until 15 minutes, I might as well. I did get Wi-Fi back. The, lap the laptop will go up at an appropriate hour today. I'm gonna watch church first from home um, and then, um, and I, I do attend New Spring, um, church here in South Carolina. It's a mega church, if you will. Um, lots of campuses throughout the state and, um, it's just been somewhere I've felt comfortable. So, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not a religious person, very religious. I'm really not. Um, I, I do consider myself a Christian now. And I've been baptized last year, um, like a week before my birthday. Actually, on my sister's birthday, November 6th, um, of seven, no, Jesus, 16. Um, so it's been over a year. I was baptized, and that was during part of my really low time. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm just blabbing. But overall, thumbs up on the red main. Thank you for the advice, everyone. Also, um, tell your friends, hide your husbands. I mean, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, like and subscribe. And I'm Erin Wadsworth. You can find me on Facebook or at E Tiffany Lou on Twitter, Tumblr, pretty much everywhere. Um, and I will chat with you later.